Hello, I'm Ben Wright, and thank you for taking time to visit my website. My interest in watches began when I started working as a porter in Christie's Auction House in 1986. I was very fortunate to be able to follow my absolute passion and join the clock and watch department, which I subsequently ran for 15 years. I also became an auctioneer, taking sales all over the world. In 2006, I decided to set up my own business, which is to buy and sell vintage wristwatches of the highest quality. My base is here in my office in the town of Tetbury, in the heart of beautiful Gloucestershire, which is only an hour's train ride from London. But I love travelling to visit clients, so I spend about half of my life in planes and trains and cars. I'm in London once a week and I travel to the continent monthly, and I do try to visit the States every couple of months. So this is my office, and as you can see, I have an extremely extensive reference library of watch and clock books because I also sell the best quality English clocks. My office has a very happy, peaceful atmosphere, the perfect place to come and sit and chat looking at lovely watches with a cappuccino beside you. So how do I operate? Simply put, I buy and sell high quality vintage wristwatches. And by vintage, I generally mean wristwatches that were made before 1985. But that's not an absolute cutoff date, more of a guideline. And what type of watch do I like to buy and sell? Simply, I buy any type of vintage watch. But in reality, I prefer to buy pieces by the very best makers such as Patek Philippe and Rolex, Tudor, Omega and Hoyer. Take, for example, this small selection of watches I have here. We have some really interesting pieces by Hoyer, Rolex and Tudor. This one is called the home plate, so named because the hour markers are shaped like baseball home plates. It was made in 1970, the year that Tudor first began to make this model. The bracelet is the original and the dial has a lovely creamy patina. The other Tudor is a lovely example which we call the snowflake and this particular one is very rare because it was originally sold in 1979 to the French Navy and on the back of the watch is engraved MN79 for Marine Nationale 1979. This simple Rolex here is the Oyster Perpetual Explorer made in 1965 and has the rare reference number 6610. And again, it has the original bracelet, but what I particularly like about this watch is that the dial has retained the original luminous hour markers and the original hands. Lastly, I just want to show you this very rare Hoyer chronograph. It's the transitional reference 2446, which was made only in 1965 in tiny numbers, so few that only about 30 are known to exist. The bezel started out black, but over the years, it's turned a lovely ghostly blue, which collectors like very much. So I hope you now have a better idea of who I am and what I do. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a particular watch, or you just want to have a chat about values and the market in general, please come and say hello. You can get in touch with me by phone or email via the contact button at the top of the website. Thank you for coming to watch this video and I look forward to meeting you. Thank you.